Hi guys, one moment, give me one second. It seems that my computer is not recognized the camera. I think it's going there. It's loading. Give me one moment. Can you hear me guys? Yes. yes. Okay, okay, very good. Give me one moment. I don't know why it is not accepting the camera. It says fail to store the video camera. Please select another video camera in sense. One moment, guys. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Let me change the port. Voy a cambiar el puerto. Can you see me now? Yes, I think. There you are, guys. Hey, hello, guys. How are you? Como están, chicos? Hi. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Very good. Hi. Uh, welcome to Bye. the class. Thank you very much for joining. And today, guys, we're going to continue with section number four, right? We're going to continue with section number four. And I'm very happy that you're joining today. So let's start. I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Give me one second here. That'd be one. So yesterday we started with uh, talking a little bit about the um, information from section number four, right? Which is about a uh, pretty much the uh, likes and dislikes. And I sent you some links so you could go ahead and practice a little bit with them, right? And uh, also, I don't know if you check them, right? Because I sent you some interactive worksheets, ¿verdad? So unas worksheets inter interactivas, right? So I sent you some interactive worksheets and uh, it's kind of cool because it's a, se, se califican solas, así que you will get the grade e instantly, immediately, okay? Let me share the screen, guys, with you. Right. It's a cool. Hmm? Dígame. It's a cool. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear that. Repítame, por favor, no escuché, perdón. This is cool. It's cool, yes, actually it's very, very cool, right? You you just have to do it, right? And they will check it for you, se las, se las revisa, okay? So guys, this is going to be your session number nine, right? Um, I'm sorry, session number 10, I'm sorry, my mistake, session number 10. And today is February the 9th, okay? So uh, pretty much we're going to just cover um, the information, the rest of the information, right? Because yesterday we started talking a little bit about things that people hate to do, right? And some of you were sharing with me that information, okay? So uh, this is what we did yesterday, right? We talked a little bit about a, the top uh, top eight things people hate to do. Pero vamos a ver si mostrarlo. What do you remember from yesterday? What are the things that people hate to do? What are the things that people hate to do? What do you remember? Exercise. Laundry. Exercise. Too long. The laundry. Travel to work. Travel to work. ¿Cuál era la otra palabra que aprendimos para travel to work? Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. Commute. Commute. Very good. Excellent. Right. We use commute. Right. I'm going to type it in the chat right now. Right. Commute. Right. Oops. I'm sorry. It seems it got all capital letters. Commute. Right. Very good. Okay. What else? You said exercise. You said um, doing the laundry. You said um, do the laundry. Uh, travel to work, which is commute. Right. What else, guys? Go to meeting. Go to meetings, okay? Go to meetings. <laughs> it's true. What else? Okay, what Clean else? Clean the house. Clean the house. Clean the house. It's true, right? You're cleaning the house. Very good, okay? But what are the things? What are the things you remember? I mean, if it is cleaning the house, what does it imply? Que implica, right? So what, what do you do? Uh -huh. Clean the restroom. Clean in the restrooms, okay? Wash the dishes. Huh? Wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. It's correct, right? Wash the dishes. Okay. Ayer alguien mencionó una de las cosas que no me gustaba era to, to wash the pans and the, and the pots, ¿verdad? Las cacerolas mm -hmm. y las ollas. Okay. Very good. What else? Yeah. ¿Qué más? Mop the floor. Mop the floor. Very good. Excellent. What else? Cook Iron. Laundry. 
iron the clothes, do the laundry. Okay, very good. What else? In the bathroom. Huh? In the Wash bathroom? the pants or clean. Yes, clean in the bathrooms, right? Okay. Alguien más dijo algo, pero no alcancé a escuchar. I'm sorry. Wash the pants and put. Wash the? Pants and put. Pants and put. Uh -huh. The ones that I was mentioning, right? Very good. Excellent. Okay. And there is one more. Y hay una más de la lista. Do you remember which one is missing? No? Bueno. One, two from the list. Okay. Two from the list that you didn't mention. Okay. And those exercise. are exercise. Yes, ya lo mencionaron. Very good exercise. Which one? Stand in line. Stand in line. Very good. Excellent. Line. Okay. Stand in line. People hate standing in lines, right? People hate to stand in line in this case, right? No le gusta hacer la cola, como decimos nosotros en esta palabra, yes. right? Okay. Cuando dicen, hay que hacer cola. Ah. Vamos mañana mejor, dicen, ¿verdad? Right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Let's. Let's leave it for tomorrow, okay? Decimos en inglés, let's leave it for tomorrow. Dejémoslo para mañana. I'm going to type it in the chat as well. Give me one moment. Where is the chat? Here, okay? Nosotros decimos en inglés, let's... Oops, I'm sorry. I think I got the... I tenía el, el, el puntero ahí. Let's leave it. Let's... Let's leave it for tomorrow, decimos en inglés. Dejémoslo para mañana. Let's leave it for tomorrow. ¿Cómo decimos hacer mandados en inglés? ¿Cómo decimos hacer mandados? ¿Alguien tiene una idea? Uh -huh. ¿Hacer mandados? Do you know how to say hacer mandados? No, teacher. Okay, no problem. I'll tell you uh, in, a, in just a moment. And also I will share with you the, refini the definition. We say to run errands, okay? For example, I can say, I have to run errands tomorrow, tomorrow in the morning, okay? I have to run errands tomorrow in the morning, like this, okay? Y ahí está la definición. To run, some, to run errands or some errands is to make some short journeys to buy, right? Uh, collect or deliver something, right? An errand, o sea, un mandado, an errand. It's a short journey to deliver, buy, or collect something. It's a noun, okay? Entonces, to run errands. Ahí les puse el ejemplo. I have to run errands tomorrow in the morning. Tengo que hacer mandados en la mañana, right? To run errands. Very good, okay? Excellent, guys. And then also, one that you didn't mention is to work in the yard. To work in the yard. Now, I like, you know, working in the yard. But what I don't like are insects. Los insectos son los que no me gustan, but I like to work in the yard. But other than that, it's just great, right? To, to touch the leaves, right? Leaves, las hojas, ¿verdad? Leaves, okay, to touch the leaves, right? And also to see the flowers, right? Or to, I don't know, just to, to play with the, with, the, with the ground, right? Con la tierra, okay? So actually that's something pretty cool. And also open the mail, right? We have open the mail and we already mentioned some of the things, okay? What else did we did yesterday? Well, yesterday we started talking about simple past, okay? And I said that it's very, very important to know how we do it. Pero en la primera parte de su sección, de su section four en, el, en la plataforma, the section four mentions only regular verbs, okay? But we're going to talk about both regular and irregular verbs, okay? Because that's going to come in the future as well, okay? This is yesterday you read the conversation and it was pretty, pretty cool. And aquí nos quedamos ya con las reglas, right? So we started talking a little bit about the spelling rules of a simple past, okay? Now, uh, when it comes to simple past, guys, uh, if you see the, the examples on the screen, it says watched, watched, exercise, exercised, study, studied, stay, stayed, shop, shopped, right? So there you have a pretty much like a summary of all the rules that we studied yesterday, okay? Y no dejen, por favor, hagan esas, eh, si no tengan tiempo, ¿verdad? Esas worksheets ya van a ver que les va a ayudar bastante en la comprensión de este tema, ¿ok? Las que les compartí ahí en el chat, ¿ok? Entonces, eh, yesterday we were mentioning a little bit about um, how we are going to work with affirmative and negative sentences, ¿ok? 
And, pero teacher, ¿y cuándo es que yo voy a usar simple past? Okay, ¿cuándo es que usamos simple past? Well, we use simple past, okay, and I'm going to type here unas líneas porque de repente se une todo ahí. Okay, we use, y ya lo vamos a ver más adelante, no se preocupen. We use simple past, simple past for completed actions. Okay, we use simple past for completed actions in the past, okay. Entonces, quiero que quedemos ya listos hoy porque mañana quiero escuchar mucho, mucho. Los quiero escuchar mucho a ustedes, okay, with the activities. But right now, first, we need to understand the topic. So, we use simple past for completed actions in the past. ¿Qué quiere decir eso, teacher? Que no están conectadas con mi presente. Por ejemplo, take a look at the examples on the, on the screen. It says, I watched television. I watched television yesterday in the evening. Okay? ¿Está conectada esa acción con mi presente? No. Se completó en un lapso en el pasado. I watch TV from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, a completed action in the past. I don't have to do anything else, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es simple past. When we use it to talk about completed actions, okay? And then, what happens? Well, we have some rules for the spelling rule, for the, for the, for the verbs, right? Okay, y vamos a ver, antes de comenzar. Let's see, who remembers the rules, okay? Who remembers the rules? They were regular mm -hmm. and irregular. Very good. We have regular and irregular verbs, okay? That's very important to mention as well, okay? What about the rules? What do you remember? Que se le agregaba ed cuando terminaba en consonante. Very good. We add ed when the verb ends in consonant, okay? Very good. What else? Eh, que se cambia la Y y se pone una I latina uh -huh. y se agrega ED. Muy bien, pero when does that happen? When does that happen? I'm sorry. ¿Cuándo sucede? Cuando, <ríe> cuando estas eh, son como, por ejemplo, a... Uh, Ay, solo me acuerdo que termina en Y realmente. Tan bella, tan bella. Don't worry, it's okay. Vamos a ver, who remembers the rest? Vaya, Argelia ya nos dio, la, ya nos dio ahí la pista. Ajá. Sería cuando está precedida de una consonante. Excellent, very good, excellent. Thank you, Argelia. Y no vi el otro nombre. Espérame. I'm going to display the list porque si no, si no desplego la lista no puedo ver quién está hablando. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much, girls. Exactly, right? So that's one of the things that we have to remember, right? It, sometimes, as Argelia was saying, we are going to switch. We're going to change the, we're going to eliminate the letter Y, and then we're going to add the letter, the vowel I. But that is when the verb, I mean, the Y is preceded by a consonant. ¿Y qué sucede si va precedida de una vocal? ¿Aplico la regla? Mm. Se, agrega, se agrega la D. No. Exactly, right? I don't apply the rule. I just add E D. E D. Very good. Excellent. What else do you remember, guys? What else do you remember about the rules? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Hay una en donde se duplica la última. La última letra. Excellent. Se le agrega ED, pero no sé. No problem. I will, I, will, I will share that again. Okay. So, it's true, guys. Generally, when we are using or when we are talking about a regular verbs, right? And those regular verbs are a, how can I say it? Um, they end in consonant because generally, generally they end in consonant, right? So, uh, let me just rest. And remember, let me change the verbs, okay, Isa. So generally, guys, when verbs end in a uh, consonant, all what we do is that we add ed to the verb, okay? And that's it, right? We do not have to do anything else. All what we do is just to add ed to the verb. For example, work, worked, learned, learned, walk, walked, rest, rested, remember, remembered, gain, gained, right? So, very much, guys, if the verb ends in, in, in consonant, si no aplica las otras reglas que ya hablamos, que ya mencionaron ustedes, all what we do is to add ed to the verb, okay? Now, what happens then? Uh, nos mencionaban ahí también es que terminan en e, o no sé si lo mencionaron, right? So, it's very easy because if the verb ends in e, 
right? All what I have to do is to add D to the verb and that's it. Y tengo mi simple past, okay? So if the verb ends in E, all what we do is to add the letter D, okay? Ya no necesito agregar nada más, just the letter D, okay? That's second rule. Esa yo se la compartí en el chat, chicos, para que... Por eso voy un poquito así como... Es un review, ¿verdad? De ayer. Entonces, what happens with the other rule? Ahí nos ayudó Argelia junto con una de sus compañeritas que no alcancé el nombre. Thank you very much. And they said, right, that when the verb finishes in the final combination, consonant plus white, all what we have to do is to change the white to an I, and then we add ED. So in the end, it's study, studied, cry, cried, try, tried, comply, complied, right? If the verb finishes in the final combination, consonant and vowel, all what we do is to add ed. Y ahí estamos, ¿verdad? Ya no agregamos nada más. Como en el caso de play, played, right? Entonces, si no tengo la consonante, mm -mm, no aplica, ¿verdad? And then, one of your classmates one was mentioning this. Nos mencionaba esta regla que es bien importante. A veces se nos va desapercibido. But it's important to remember, okay? So what do I do? What do I do when I have one syllable verbs? Okay, son dos características, chicos, para estos verbos. Son monosílabos, okay? O sea, solo necesito con una sílaba digo todo el verbo, ¿verdad? Y tienen una combinación, que es consonant, vowel, consonant. En este caso, por ejemplo, yo lo siempre lo escribo así. C plus B plus C, okay? Ese es mi recordatorio ¿Verdad? Para estos, ¿ok? Y que son one syllable verbs, ¿ok? Entonces yo sé que si tengo C, B, C, consonant, vowel, and consonant, and that they are one syllable verbs, que son monosílabos, yo sé que yo duplico la última consonante y luego agrego ET, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? ¿Hay alguna pregunta sobre las reglas que vimos, chicos? ¿Any question? ¿Questions? Cuando son irregulares, los verbos cambian completamente, ¿verdad? Exactly. Thank you very much. When the verbs are irregular, they do not follow rules. No siguen reglas. Son bien rebeldes los, los irregular verbs, ¿ok? Entonces, para mí, eso es mi recordatorio. Irregular verbs, rebel, rebels verbs, right? Se rebelan completamente, no siguen reglas y son distintos a veces hasta como es la forma base, ¿verdad? It changes a lot. Como, por ejemplo, el verb be, right? Verb be is was and where. ¿verdad? Y en, en presente, pues we know that it's different too, right? So was and where, we have only two forms. O por ejemplo, eh, see, right, is saw, or think is thought, ¿verdad? Entonces, they changed a lot. Cambian mucho, mucho, ¿ok? So thank you very much for that. ¿Algo más, chicos? ¿Alguna pregunta? Vaya, porque también si tienen preguntas de la plataforma, me las pueden hacer acá y con mucho gusto las contestamos, chicos. Cuando usted encuentre algo en la plataforma que no comprenda, ¿verdad? O que de repente, teacher, este me costó o, miren, no me lo toma bien, siempre en la clase lo pueden mencionar y aquí mismo, pues, yo comparto la plataforma y lo hacemos juntos, ¿ok? No hay ningún problema. Así que, eh, questions, chicos, about this? Any question? No, no. yet. No yet. Le voy a enseñar. ¿Cómo decimos todo bien hasta el momento en inglés? We say, so far, so good. No, teacher, so far, so good, ¿verdad? Todo bien hasta el momento. So far, so good. O cuando nos preguntan, do you have a question? Podemos decir, not yet. Todavía no. <laughs> not yet. Todavía no. Or, so far, so good, ¿verdad? Todo bien hasta el momento. ¿Ok? Y está not yet, que es todavía no. O aún no pero ya la voy a tener. <laughs> ok, very good. So let's continue. Eh, ayer ahí nos quedamos, ¿verdad? Y dijimos que eh, los irregular verbs, they do not follow rules, ¿verdad? They don't follow any rules. Eh, ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? We have to memorize them, right? We have to memorize them. Y para eso, este, yo les compartiré en, en el chat, ¿verdad? Les compartiré una lista básica de verbos que ustedes se pueden aprender. Okay. Y con esa lista básica, pues ya estamos listos para hablar acerca de ciertas acti actividades, ¿verdad? Or things that you do, okay, during the day. Now it says, uh, for example, we have be. Take a look at the simple test. Been. It's a little bit different, right? Uy, perdón. Les estoy poniendo la slide de, les estoy poniendo la slide de, del pasado participio. I'm sorry. Le voy a poner el de acá. Uh, 
Oops. Sorry, guys. Uh, okay. Aquí está. Hoy sí. So, actually, they change a little bit, okay? Y en este caso tenemos B, ¿verdad? Que va a ser, ¿cómo sería el pasado de B? Was where? Was where, very good. El de break? Broke. Broke, Broke. very good. Eh, become? Become. Because. Became. Became, right, became. Became. Eh, buy? Boat. Boat, very good, okay. Eh, catch? Caught. Caught, como caught. Cut. Mm -hmm. A read? Red. Red, like the color, right? Like the color. And then write? Wrote. Wrote. Very good. Okay. So pretty much that's, um, uh, th those are like some of the changes, right? Sometimes it changes pronunciation, like in read, right? Read. The pronunciation is simple, past is red, like the color. Or for example, buy, it's totally different than we got bought, right? So um, all what we have to do is to learn them by heart. Pero se escribiría de la misma forma, perdón, se escribiría de la misma forma. Eh, which one? Read. Read, uh -huh. it's the same spelling, but different pronunciation. Same spelling, uh -huh. different pronunciation. Uh -huh. So you have to learn them by heart. Esa es una expresión. You have to learn them by heart. Hay que memorizarse. Learned by heart means memorize them. Okay, pero no es aprenderlas de corazón, no, verdad? It's memorize them. You have to learn them by heart. Very good. And then, well, guys, um, let's talk a little bit also. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más tenemos cuando hablamos de simple past? Okay. Well, we have to be very careful with the expressions we use. Right? We need to use certain expressions, right, that will help us to... Um, communicate our message, right, that we're talking about the past, okay? So when it comes to past simple time expressions, we have the following, okay? And let me see who wants to participate, who wants to read the expressions? Raise your hand, so para poder ver aquí la manita. Who wants to participate? Who wants to read the expressions? Okay, thank you, Cecilia, go ahead. Yesterday, mm -hmm. the day before yesterday, very good. The night before yes, before last, mm -hmm. the week before last, the month before last, when I was a child, in 199. I will tell you, it's 1999. 1999. Okay, se divide el número en dos, okay? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. in, in 1999, mm -hmm. on December 19. Thank you very much, Cecilia. Very, very kind, okay? So, well, guys, pretty much those are general expressions that we use when we talk about past, right? Yesterday. Okay, the day before yesterday is lo que nosotros decimos eh, anteayer. The night before last, antenoche. The week before last, la semana antepasada. The month before last, el mes antepasado. When I was a child, right? When I was a kid, right? When I was five years old, right? And then you can mention the year in 1999. For example, in my case, I graduated in, uh, from high school in 2004. I graduated from high school in 2004. O al revés, ¿verdad? In 2004, I graduated from high school. You can use the year or you can use the date, right? I got, I got married, okay, uh, on, and then you'd say the date, right? For example, on December 19th, right? I got married on December 19th, okay? Entonces, those are some of the expressions that we can use. Teacher, pero ¿y cómo digo hace dos minutos? O teacher, ¿cómo digo hace cinco minutos? Well, I used the expression ago, ago, right? So I say three days ago, hace tres días, five minutes ago, hace cinco minutos, and one year ago, hace un año. So ago is an expression that we're going to use a lot, right, when it comes to simple past. And then we got also uh, last month, last year, last summer, okay? Last month, last year, and last summer. Very good. 
Do you have questions about the vocabulary, guys? Do you have questions? Preguntas, chicos? No questions about the vocabulary words? Okay. Excellent. Very good. Let's continue then, okay? Bueno, teacher, pero, and then what are all the, the elements that we're going to need, right, for a simple past, okay? Well, guys, it's pretty simple, okay? So here we have all the elements that we're going to need for our simple past structures, okay? Uh, let me move the, this thing here. Okay, here, I'm going to put it here. One second. Nice stuff. Okay, so what are the elements that I need, right, when it comes to simple past? The first element that's gonna be my subject, right? So that's gonna be my subject, and then I need a verb in past, right? I need a verb in past and a complement, okay? So that's gonna be for affirmative sentences. Uh, let me see, let me listen to your example. So you have an example with affirmative sentences, guy? Affirmative sentence, I'm sorry. Examples with affirmative sentences? Who wants to participate? With uh, with uh, regular verbs. Yeah, regular verbs. No, regular verbs. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I visited my parents yesterday. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, Deborah. Actually, I visited my parents yesterday. There you have the structure: subject, verb in past, and complement. Thank you very much. Another example. Who else? Someone else. Um, I didn't study a uh, week. I didn't study? Um, yesterday? Yesterday or last week, okay. Yesterday, very good. Now, that is, that is the second instructor. Very good. Thank you very much, Angelia. Actually, that is correct, right? I'm using the second instructor here. I didn't study last week. Okay, now important things that we have to remember, right, when we're using negative statements is that I need to be very careful with my verb, okay? I do not have to modify the verb. You know, cambio mi verbo ya cuando tengo una auxiliar. We don't do that, right? So I didn't, I mean, I didn't study, right, yesterday. Muy bien. Another example, guys, ejemplos for positive or negative statements. Did you study yesterday? Repeat it one more time. Did you study yesterday? Very good. So that is going to be for the third example, right? So let me see. We have the, uh, the auxiliary, right? And then we have the subject, okay? After the subject, we have the verb, the complement, and the question mark, right? Did you study yesterday? Did you study yesterday? Very good. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Okay. So let me listen to more examples. What about affirmative? One more that is affirmative, please. Affirmative. They went to school, to school last summer. Excellent. They went to school last summer. They went to school last summer. What will be the negative sentence for that one? Uh, they didn't go to school last summer. Very good, they didn't go to school last summer. And the question? Did they go to school last summer? Very good, did they go to school last summer? Very good, excellent guys. So that's a little bit of what we're going to be doing, right? Affirmative, negative, and question. Pero teacher, ¿qué sucede cuando yo en realidad no quiero preguntar con como una yes no question? ¿Cómo voy a hacer mi pregunta? Bueno. Chicos, there is something very important in English, okay? And I will share that with you. Let me open up the note here. Uh, I'm going to use this, okay. In English, we have two types of questions. Tenemos dos tipos de pregunta. Do you know which are those two types of questions? I guess I English word. Okay, ¿y cómo se llaman esas preguntas? ¿Alguien sabe? Do you know, guys? W-H-W-Question. Ahí escuché la palabra, la, la frase, perdón. Information. Muy bien. Okay, ¿quién lo dijo? Quiero ver. Cecilia. Cecilia, thank you very much. Exactly, son information questions. Okay, ¿y cómo se llaman las otras? W-H-Question. 
No, las WH son estas, las information questions, ¿ok? Y las otras. Yes, no question. Yes, no question. yes, no question. Muy bien, guys. Ok, so we got two types of questions. We got information questions and we got just no questions. Information questions son las que incluyen un WH word o un WH phrase. Ok, puede ser either or. Ok, teacher, ¿y cómo hacía una WH word? Por ejemplo, yo puedo preguntar, vamos a hacerle acá una, una flechita, ¿verdad? Una, ahí está. WH word como cuál, teacher? Por ejemplo, where. Ok. Yo puedo preguntar, where did you go yesterday? Where did you go yesterday? ¿Verdad? Yo quiero saber. No me invitaron, así que yo les pregunto, where did you go yesterday? Ok. And I have only one WH word. Pero, ¿qué sucede si yo no pregunto where did you go yesterday? Sino que les pregunto lo siguiente. What time did you get there? ¿A qué hora llegaron, verdad? ¿Y por qué no me invitaron? Okay. What time did you get there? Pero, teacher, mire, ahí what ya no está solo, lleva time. Exacto. Entonces, esta es una WH phrase. Mm -hmm. What time did you get there? What time did you get there? Ok. Entonces, como yo tengo estas dos preguntas, se llaman information questions porque si yo, si yo pregunto, where did you go yesterday? Mis amigos me van a decir, to the um, movie. To the movies. Ok, muy bien, to the movies, ok. Ah, to the movies. Ah, le voy a decir yo, and you didn't tell me, right? You didn't tell me with you, okay? So where did you go yesterday? To the movies, okay? So where, I'm asking for a place, meaning that that's going to be my answer. That's what I'm looking for. And then WH phrase, right? The WH phrase. Yo les pregunto, what time did you were there, right? Oh, oh, uh, uh, we got there at 6 p.m. Okay, uh, I'm sorry we didn't tell you. Perdón, que no te dijimos, pero, but yes, at 6.30, como solo trabajando pasas, ¿verdad? Entonces, we didn't tell you, okay, no te dijimos. Entonces, at 6 p.m., what time did you get there? At 6 p.m. Si ustedes se fijan las respuestas a esas dos preguntas, it's not a yes, it's not a no, it's just very specific information, okay? Entonces, let's go and move on to the just no questions, okay? Just no questions actually are a little bit different, okay? Because actually, they are the same thing, si ustedes se fijan abajo, siguen la misma fórmula, pero no incluyen el WH word o el WH phrase, ¿ok? Entonces tenemos, eh, did, for, for example, did, oops, did you go, oops, did you go with them, que okay, fuiste con ellos al cine, ¿verdad? Did you go with them to the movies. Ahora voy a entrevistar a mi mejor amiga, me va a decir, discúlpame, pero, yes, I did. Y no te dije, I'm sorry, ok. <risa> or, then, or then, le voy a preguntar, este, <coughs> eh, por ejemplo, eh, did you have a good time? ¿Se divirtieron? Have a good time es divertirse, ok. Have a good time es divertirse. Did you have a good time? Y me van a decir, no. Ya van, saben que me, me van a responder así, mira. No, we didn't. Me van a decir, no, no nos divertimos. Yo les voy a contar por qué. Porque tú no estabas ahí, me van a decir. Solo para quedar bien conmigo. <laughs> okay, no, we didn't. No, para nada. Te extrañamos. We didn't enjoy this, you know, uh, the movie. Okay, así que. Pero es mentira, ¿verdad? Por supuesto que se divirtieron. Okay. But no, we didn't. Okay. Entonces, if you see, guys, that's the difference between the two questions. Okay. Information questions, they look for very specific information. And yes, no questions, they are just looking for a yes or no as an answer, okay? Entonces, le voy a tomar el screenshot, okay? Yo luego compa les comparto esto allí. Les comparto las notas, solo déjenme y les copio acá para luego tenerse las listas. Ahí está. Bye. Okay, entonces, eh, that's pretty much, guys, the main difference. Entonces, si ustedes se fijan, look, la fórmula es la misma. Did you, ¿verdad? Aquí sería auxiliary, subject, verb, complement, and question mark. Aquí está, pero como el WH word al principio, WH phrase, did you get there. Entonces, la fórmula es la misma, chicos. What's the difference, teacher? ¿Cuál es la diferencia? 
que unas van a llevar este eso y otras no. No se preocupen, si no lo, no lo copiaron, yo luego se los pongo ahí en el chat. Siempre les tomo las capturas cuando yo les pongo ejemplos para enviárselas después al chat. Este, eh, ups, perdón. Eh, perdón, déjenme cierro esto. Bye, ahí está. Entonces, esta es la diferencia. Look, esta es la diferencia. That's the difference. ¿Ok? Sin es solo yes, no questions. Y con esto es information question. ¿Ok? So that's the main difference, guys. Uh, do you have questions? ¿Hay preguntas? Questions? So far, so good. So far, so, so, far, so, far, so good. Good. Very good, okay. Now, I would like to listen to, uh, to you guys, okay? So, um, we're going to um, just uh, have a quick uh, review, right? Ya dijimos, ¿verdad? We have regular verbs and we have irregular verbs. Ya sabemos que you have to learn the regular verbs by heart and that you have to apply some rules to the irregular verb, okay? And we already said that if it is affirmative, ya sabemos cuáles son los que llevan, ya sabemos cuáles son las reglas que vamos a aplicar, okay? En este caso, pues, tenemos verb endings, eh, verbs ending en cualquier consonante y t, okay? Verbs ending in uh, y, precedida de consonante, I change the y to an i. Monosyllables, right, or one-syllable verbs, Con consonant vowel consonant, I just doubled the last consonant and add ed. And then verbs in ending in e, right, I just add p to the verb, okay, like this one, okay. So that's pretty much the information, right? Es lo mismo que todo lo que acabamos de hablar, pero con diferentes letras, okay. Igual, no se preocupen que yo se los comparto luego en el chat, okay. And then, guys, eh, we got affirmative, affirmative waves, right, and um, Eh, de los irregulares, pero quizás esto no lo quiero tocar ahorita, prefiero mejor ir con la plataforma, así que este es el punto de que, que hablamos ahí en la plataforma. Now, eh, I would like to practice a little bit eh, with you, y pues todavía tenemos 20 minutos, así que I would like to listen to you. Let me see. I'm going to change here. We're going to play it a little bit with regular verbs, okay? okay? We're gonna play a little bit with regular verbs, guys. And let me listen to uh, what you have to say. Give me one moment. Um, Wait one moment. Okay, so guys, let's go here, and I'm going to and I'm going to ask you to uh, you are going to decide. Usted va a decidir para cuál de los dos teams va a trabajar. Okay, so please start checking. Okay, write down your points. Van a escribir esos puntos. Okay. So here we have a chart, guys. ¿Cómo funciona el chart? Well, we're going to do it like this. Uh, we have on one section, we have the subjects. We got my brother, we got I, my mom, and Tom, okay? So those are going to be our subjects, okay? Vamos a hacer más grande acá esto para que, ahí está, okay? And then we got the verbs study, dance, visit, la teacher se equivocó, visit, cook, and clean, okay? Teacher, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Bueno. You're going to do this. You're going to pick one subject and you're going to pick one verb, okay? For example, digamos que acá en los subjects tuviera a uh, Mary, okay? Tuviera Mary y agarro el verbo cook, okay? So Mary cooked a delicious meal yesterday. Yesterday, okay? Mary cooked a delicious meal uh, yesterday. ¿Cómo sería la oración negativa? Mary didn't, didn't cook. Didn't. 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 Very good. Mm -hmm. Yesterday. Yesterday. Very good. ¿Y pregunta? Did Mary, did Mary cook? Did Mary cook? Very good. Okay. Did Mary cook a delicious meal? 
a delicious meal yesterday. Okay, so this, that's what you're gonna do, guys. You're going to pick one yes. subject and one verb, okay? So I want to see your hands. If you want to participate, you need to raise your hand, right? So I will be able to see who wants to do it, okay? If you want to participate, you need to raise your hand. Okay, Basilia, thank you very much, okay? What is going to be your subject and what is going to be your verb? Uh, my brother. My brother and? Dance. Dance, very good, okay. My brother danced in the party yesterday. Okay, my brother danced at the party, at the party yesterday. Negative, negative. My brother, my brother didn't dance at the party. Very good, and question? Did my brother dance at the party? Very good. Excellent, Basilia. So let's see. <gasps> you got 20 points. Write them down, okay? Write them down. You got 20 points. Thank you, Basilia, okay? What about the next person? Who wants to go next? Mm -hmm. Who's next? Raise your hand. Remember, you have to raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, Basilia, you pick. Entonces, ustedes cogen quien sigue, okay? Uh, I can see the names, the other... You have students. to click on participants. Participants. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Click on participants and you see the names. Estela? I'm sorry? Estela? Estela, okay. Estela, are you there? Um, I... Uh -huh. I and... Study. Study, very good. Study. I study English in the night. At night. At night. Okay. Negative. I didn't study uh, English at night. Mm -hmm. Question. Did I study English at night? Very good. Did I study? Study, right? Study. study. Very good. Thank you. Okay, well, actually we have no points here, but thank you very much, okay? Now I saw Adriana's hand um, raised, okay? Pero ya habíamos pedido a Basilia que escogiera a alguien. So Adriana, are you there? My mom. Okay, my mom and? My mom danced in the house with my brother. Okay, negative? My mom didn't dance in the house with my brother mm -hmm. and did what my mom, did my mom dance in the house very good excellent okay oh but we don't have points thank you very much for participating who is next who is next me? oh well okay who said me can dijo you Okay, yeah, go ahead, Deborah. Okay. Helen in in Helen in Tom mm -hmm. um, visited uh, Roma the last year. Last year, very good. Negative. Um, Helen in Tom in Tom um, did. Didn't visit Roma just uh, the last year. Last year, okay. Last year. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And question. Question, question. Uh, did um, Helen and Tom visit uh, Roma last year? Excellent. Good job, Deborah. Thank you very much. But oh, I'm sorry. We do not have points, but thank you very much. Okay. Who is next? Who is next? Oh, Boris, go ahead. Um, my mom okay. and cleaned. And cleaned, okay. My mom cleaned her room an hour ago. Okay, very good. Um, the questions, did my mom clean her room? Okay. And, and, and negative is my mom didn't clean her room. 
Okay, very good, excellent. Oh, okay, you got 10 points, Boris. So thank you yeah. very much, okay? Thank you. What about you? Let's see, Adriana, would you like to participate again? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Helen and Tom. Mm -hmm. Helen and Tom clean it, the dog house. Okay. Helen and Tom didn't clean the dog house. Mm -hmm. Did Helen and Tom clean the dog house? The dog's house. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm sorry, but we do not have points here. But thank you, Adriana. Okay. So who's next? Quien sigue? Quien sigue? Perdón que vean que veo que ven mi vista hacia acá, pero es que aquí tengo la lista. Okay. Who is next? Quien sigue, chicos? Teacher, mm -hmm. uh, the bird coop is at ed in the finally. Yes, exactly. It ends in yes. consonant, so all what you do is to add ed at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I and cook. I and cook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I cook it. Um. 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 I cook it. The. Um, I, se, se, se me fue. No, no, tranquilo, okay. Try it again. Inténtelo de nuevo, tranquilo. Okay. I I I cook it um delicious um cake. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Negative. Um, I didn't cook uh, cake uh, in yesterday. Okay, and the question form? Dear, did I, didn't I cook um, cake yesterday? Okay, did, but I sort of did. Did I did, cook? Did. Mm -hmm. okay. Excellent, very good. So I and cooked, okay? And remember the pronunciation is cooked, right? Excellent, you got 60 points. Thank you very much, uh, Argelia. Thank you for participating, okay? Romeo, Romero, I'm sorry, Romero. So tell me. My... Uh, Oh, right. Romeo, Romero Gomez, Ana Veronica, it says there. So that's yes. your last name. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, okay. Veronica. My mom and cook. My mom and cook, okay? Very good. My mom cooked beef the last weekend. Mm -hmm. My mom didn't cook beef the last weekend. Mm -hmm. Did my mom cook beef the last weekend? Okay, very good, excellent, but we don't have points, okay? And remember, it's my mom cooked beef last week, just last week, okay? Thank you very much, okay? What about you, Cecilia? Um, my brother and visit. My brother and visit, okay, go ahead. My brother visit his friends yesterday. Visited. Visited. My brother visited his friends yesterday. Very good. My brother didn't visit his friends yesterday. Mm -hmm. And did my brother visit visited his friends yesterday? Did my brother visit, right? Remember that when we use auxiliary, we do not modify the verb, right? So mm -hmm. good job. Thank you very much, Celia. But no points, okay? Thank you very much. Todavía falta encontrar el tesoro, chicos, okay? So who is next? Can you see? Raise your hand if you want to participate, okay? Para que lo podamos terminar. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I uh, cook. I and cook. Oh, but I and cook ya está, ya está tomado, acá saben. Ah, uh, okay. Entonces, my brother and cook. My brother and cook. Muy bien. Uh, my brother and uh, my brother cook uh, pizza tomorrow. Okay. Pizza? ¿Cuándo? Tomorrow. No, yesterday. Yesterday. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yesterday. Ok. Um, el otro sería, my brother didn't cook yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. Cook pizza yesterday. Muy bien. Um, did my brother cook pizza yesterday? Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Sarai. But actually, we do not have points there. But thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, who's next? Can you see? Okay, Adriana, go ahead. And then Diana. Mm -hmm. 
Helen, 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 and Helen and Tom. And study. And study, okay? Helen started um, yesterday. Studied, studied yesterday. Mm -hmm. Helen didn't study on yesterday. Didn't study yesterday, okay. Did Helen study on yesterday? Sing el on, ¿verdad? Solo, did Helen study yesterday? Okay, very ah, good. Okay. Bueno, ella solo okay. tomó Helen, but it's totally fine. Don't worry, okay? Thank you. Oh, you got, you got 80 points, okay? Thank you very much, okay? Who's this? It was Adriana, right? Or was yes. it Diana? Okay, thank you. Now, Diana, what about you? Um, uh, yo. Who said yo? Es que yo estoy viendo las manitas, perdón. Adriana. Ah, ok. Entonces, ¿quién fue la que acaba de participar? Diana. Diana. Ahora va Adriana. Ok, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. I am dance. I am dance. Ok, let's see. I danced it with my boyfriend the night before last. Ok. I didn't dance with my boyfriend the night before last. Mm -hmm. Did I dance with my boyfriend the night before last? Very good. Thank you very much. But actually, we do not have points there. But thank you. Excellent <laughs> example. Okay. Who is next? Who is next? Vamos a ver quién descubre el tesoro. Who's next? Ahí tengo las manos de Anita y de Adriana. No sé si quieren participar nuevamente. No, okay. Ana. Ana Veronica. You have your hand raised. Okay. Or someone else that wants to participate? ¿Quién más, chicos? ¿Quién más? Ya solo nos quedan pocos minutos, ¿ok? Para terminar el, el juego, ¿ok? Uh, let me see. What about... Uh, what about Ana Isabel? Who is Ana Isabel? Ana Isabel, are you there? My brother. My brother, ¿ok? I'm My clean. And cleaned. Very good. My brother cleaned the house last week. Mm -hmm. My brother mm -hmm. didn't clean the, the house last week. Very good. Did my brother clean the house last week? Okay, very good. Did my brother clean the house last week? Very good. So let's see. Oh, I'm sorry. We do not have points here, but thank you very much. Okay. What about, let me see, uh, Erika? Erika Quintanilla, what about you? Erika, are you here? Well, I don't, I don't listen to her voice. So, Eileen Michelle, Eileen Michelle. So can you help me with the next one, please? Mm, I. I and clean. And clean. And I clean in the house. Mm -hmm. I didn't in the house. I didn't? I didn't clean in the house. Okay, very good. And did I clean in the house? Very good, excellent, right? So, but we don't have points here. Thank you very much, uh, Ailey Michelle, for your participation. And what about, let's see, Araceli. What about Araceli? Where are you, Araceli? Um, my mom and dance. My mom and dance, very good. My mom danced yesterday in the party. Okay. Um, my mom did... Dance, dance, didn't yesterday, dance. didn't dance, yesterday in the party, mm -hmm. and my mom didn't dance yesterday in the party. Okay, and the question, did my mom, did my mom dance? Did my mom danced yesterday in the party. Excellent, thank you very much. No le quise quitar inspiración. Pero la verdad es que ya me estaba el cuadrito, ajá. Así que, uh, I don't know if you want to pick another one. No sé si quieres coger algún otro. Um, I clean. 
ya está tomada. Solo están es to study con brother, I con visit, my mom con study and visit, Helen and Tom con dance y con cook. My brother study. My brother and study. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, my brother, okay. Uh -huh. Diga. My brother studying yesterday okay. with your friend. Okay. And my brother did uh, studying yesterday with your friend. Didn't, right? Didn't with your friend. And my brother did study. No, the question goes, did my brother study oh, with his friend? Did my brother study with my with your friend? Excellent, very good. Thank you very much, okay? What about, oh, well, let me see if we have something here. No, we don't, I'm sorry. Alejandra, what about you, Alejandra Cortez? Uh, my mom studied mm -hmm. gardening on Saturday. Excellent, negative. Uh, my mom didn't study, study? Didn't study. Didn't mm -hmm. study. And question is, did my mom study gardening on Saturday? Thank you very much. Okay, let's see. You got 50 points. Thank you very much, Alejandra. Okay, what about Diana? What about you? I visited. Okay. Um, I visited my family last weekend. Okay. Um, visit. Oops. Visited. Visited. No. Visited. Dear. No. Dear. I no. did. I. I did it. Visited my family last weekend. Pero en ese caso ya no modificamos el verbo porque ya tenemos didn't. I didn't visit my family last week. Okay, question? Eh, did, did I visit, I visit my family last weekend? Excellent, very good, okay. And well, you got 100 coins, very good, okay, 100 points. Okay, thank you very much, Alejandra. Ok, creo que Alejandra me estaba, me estaba respondiendo. Era usted, ¿verdad? And then I have, the, uh, bueno, Alejandra dice acá. Alejandra otra vez y dice Dayana. No sé quién de las dos va a participar. Ya son los últimos dos minutos, ajá. Eh, Dayana. My mom visited and my brother yesterday. Ok. My mom didn't visit and my brother yesterday. Did my mom visit and my brother yesterday? Okay, okay, you got 70 points. Very good, okay, thank you very much. Someone else who wants to um, check, you know, if the treasure is uh, hidden behind these two squares, little squares that we have here. Okay, who else, alguien más? Yo, teacher. Go ahead. Uh, Helen and Tom mm -hmm. and Cook. Cook. And Cook, okay. Helen and Tom uh, cooked delicious food yesterday. Okay, very good. Um, Helen and, and Tom didn't uh, cook delicious food. Um, did did Helen and Tom delicious food? ¿Y el verbo? Uh, perdón. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did Helen and Tom cook? Very good. Delicious food? Excellent. <laughs> and you found a treasure. Very good, Anita del Carmen. Okay, you found a treasure. And then the last one, right? I will do the last one because actually I will help you with the last one because time is over. So Helen and Tom. So, and the bird danced, right? Helen and Tom danced, right? All night long yesterday. And then Helen and Tom didn't dance at the party. 
did Helen and Tom dance at the party yesterday and the teacher won no points, no no puntos, okay? So guys, that's a little bit of a uh, simple pass when it comes to regular verbs, okay? Now, let's keep, uh, let's keep on uh, working on the platform, ¿verdad? Si tienen preguntas de la plataforma, tráiganlas a la clase y las vemos también, okay? No hay ningún problema. And I'll share the material with you. Yo les comparto el material el día de mañana, ¿verdad? Y pues me avisan si necesitan material extra al respecto. Así que thank you very much for joining today and I'll see you tomorrow, guys, okay? Take care. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye.